Hello everybody, my name is Rilla Gray, and yes, we are on Roblox, which is really weird in my opinion. But this video is going to, this is basically a beginner's guide to adventure, anime adventure, UPD anime adventure. It is on Roblox, it is pretty fun, it's just tower defense, but with anime characters. So with this team, it's a pretty basic team, which is Amon, Nezuku, Goku, and Jonah. The team is pretty good. They do high DPS. This will show you how to get up to at least the Demon Slayer level without any struggle. What you want to do is have this, make sure you upgrade them or wait until you get purples because you will get early gems and they will be going, you can summon stuff over here. Do not worry about uh, traits or anything until late game. I know I'm only level 18, I've been playing this for a couple of days, but I have a basic understanding. As you can see, I have pretty decent amount. I have two mythics, three mythics actually, but one of the mythics is complete trash. And no, I'm not trading any of my mythics because I love them. So now this is the play area. What you want to do is go in here. You can also ask around if you want people to help you. You just jump into a tube here, do this, and then play Planet Namek. Easy or hard. I've done it four times because I was making a video before this, which I thought would be very good, but it is not. So I'm going to skip ahead and you will see how good this team is. All right, as you can see, we are on the boss wave. Now I have three Jonas down, Amon, and two Gokus, which go Goko in this game, but you'd put. Jonah's down in the beginning because he gets his ripple effect, which is that move there. It looks like he's going to go far, but he's not really going to go far. As you can see, he, he's going to die. See? That's all you need for at least Planet Namek. I know it's not a lot, and I know it seems simple as hell, which it is. That, that's all you need. They're level 1, 2. I didn't even use Nezuko because Nezuko's not that great. Another thing you don't have to worry about is traits. Not traits. I was going to say this in the beginning, but it's their uh, potential traits. I wouldn't even call it traits. The rankings they get for their ability and stuff early on. I'll show you in a minute here once we load in. So now that we're loaded in, Go into your, if you go into here, make sure you zoom out. So when you zoom out, you, let's say we go to Nezuko. At the bottom right, the stat potential here, you don't have to worry about that just yet. Wait until you get later on to worry about that. Like if we go and look at my Deku and we view, look at that stat line. That's pretty good. I just changed his stats to A's which I'm going to try to work on getting him all SSS. The highest one you can get is SSS. I can sh I'll show you at the end of the video the potential and all that stuff and all that. If you do want to worry about that stuff, you need to go into the battle pass. You need these things called these these stat stat stones. I forgot what the hell they're called. I believe I have one left. Yeah, these. You need stat cubes. Now stat cubes they're pretty, they're everything, but they roll stat potentials for your units, which are very good, but you can also roll poorly. So I will wait for those until you're like high enough and then use as many as you want on certain characters, unless you're struggling and see if somebody could help you. If not, then oh well. All right, as you can see, we are on wave 15 of Attack on Titan. So we have four Jonas here, and we have an Amon Max and two Kaioken Gokus. We might be struggling a bit here, but we can easily just place more because, see, it's not too bad. Still struggling. So now you just need to place more than I did in the beginning, and you can easily beat him. Which, so, okay, so in the beginning we had four, 
Okay, we got Mysterious Fluid. So in the beginning, we had four Gonas. Two of them were Max, so you probably need three Max, and you probably need another Amon and two more Gokus. But this comp still works while beating the Titan. As you can see, and I just showed you, I it struggled in Mech because I wasn't prepared on how fast he was going to actually go. But So just add two more Gokus and probably another Amon. It can work. All right, so we're back at the main hub. But before we begin the next one, which is Demon Slayer, you may want to change your team up a bit. So what I've chose for the next team is Sakura. So before anybody says anything, Sakura is useless, blah, blah, blah. Sakura is actually good. He heals your team, gives your team a magical and physical buff by 10% which to whoever is in their radius so soccer is very good that's why she's in my party went with biakia which is rukia's brother in bleach if you didn't know soccer is from naruto obviously but he's just good dps he's pretty good he's very quick too pretty decent range also and then the next one i went with zenitsu from demon slayer Pretty decent damage, cooldown is decent, and the range is decent. And the last one, I'm keeping Jonah because his damage is really good. And his cooldown is really good because you need that CC for the beginning. So now if you don't have those people, if you get, let's say, Todoroki. Todoroki would be good replacement for Zenitsu because he has a slow. Gar would also be a good placement because he has Sand Coffin which can stun the boss in place. If you want to see those clips, I can upload more. And if you like this video, I know I didn't say it yet, but hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more Roblox tips and tricks on games and all that mumbo jumbo, I might do some reactions to cover art and all that stuff. Anyways, let's get right into it of me being the boss on Demon Slayer with this team. So now, what I was saying about Sakura is that when I place somebody in the radius, you can see that Zenitsu just got a 10% boost. I'm just showing you a little clip of it because I'm in the middle of getting to the boss. I don't want to record the whole way of me fighting towards the boss. So anybody placed in Sakura's range here, and you can upgrade it, which increases the amount of damage they do, which is very nice. So as you can see, seven point they get a seven damage increase and a four percent healing this is why sakura is good i don't know about late game but she's pretty good early game she's meta too which is nice and as you can see we are getting close to the the main boss and those things are kind of getting through but we have enough dps thrown down to actually just wipe everything out so we have four jonas up here with the sakura we have two biakias which are max close to max which i can max in real quick and then we have a sakura right there zenitsu right there and we have another biakia right there which might not which will probably be enough yeah so you can see that it was enough just to kill him so this team actually works all the way up. I know it says Act 1 because I'm just showing you that it works all the way up to Demon Slayer. And now we will go back to the hub and I will show you a little bit more for the beginner's guide. So now the thing I told you about before, the stat potential, you do not want to worry about. I'm about to show you how many stats there are in the game. So this thing I just popped up on the screen right there is... The highest stat you can get which is sss you do not have to worry about that just yet not until later on i'm still exploring the game myself so i'm kind of a beginner but that's the thing you do not have to worry about yet but it's on their website which i'll put the website in the description below so now going back into roblox a little thing you do not have to fuse let's say you do not want this vegeta and you don't want to fuse him but you want to earn some gold you can sell these characters and they will give you gold now gold can be used at the gold shop 
which is this it? Yeah, this is the gold shop, which buys XP items to level up your character. You can buy materials, which is to evolve your characters later on. And then there's relics from this guy, which I still don't know what those are for yet. But this is where you can summon stuff. This is the leaderboard for high levels. And this is where you can evolve. Now these traits right here, I know I should have said this in the beginning, but you can each character can have a trait. Each trait does something unique. And it says unique right there. The unique is there's a lot of stuff on this, which I'll put their website in the description below because that's where all where you find most of the stuff. If you go to Beerus, he will trade change your stat potential, which you need these things right here, these stat cubes. You need these. I've already used three of them, which I used on my Deku. I probably showed. See, so my Deku was like BBC. And now it's like this. My Deku is one of my prized people. So is Dobby, which I use in my major team. And I will put out more videos of what team to actually use later on. This isn't my set team just yet because I still need five. I honestly don't want to use Wendell. I know it says Wenda, but Wendell is the actual name later on. So I'll probably put in Underhaul, which is Overhaul from My Hero Academia. Either him or Croc, which I like. This guy, if you get this guy, I feel sorry for you because he is the weakest in the game. Another thing you do not have to worry about is if you go, a big thing people don't know. Is that if you zoom out, you can click on the side things and it'll teleport you to here. I still want Shigaraki. Okay, I'll do a roll real quick and see what we get. Probably nothing good. Yeah, Usopp, so that's garbage. Like with you did with what you did with the other ones. Oh yeah, make sure you're always zoomed out when you're in menus so you can sell stuff. So what you do with those ones, you just sell them if you don't want them. What is that? 5.0? 5.0? Okay. So now the stat boosts at the bottom, they do increase a little bit. So let's say, let's look at him, Six, 61.9. If he had, what are his stats? So he has a B. So if he had an A, his stat might be 65.9. My math could be off, which probably is. Another thing people don't know is that every hour these rotations change. So if you go in here, there will be a timer right here available until 20 minutes from now. They change each hour. The standard ones, so the special ones are two times chance for mythics, which says right there. Duh. And then there's standard ones, and then there's coming soon, which I have no idea what they are because I just started playing this a couple days ago. But each hour, there's a spaceship that also spawns here too, which you can get legendary summons and all that good stuff which gold is used for to buy legendary summons, so save those. Now, I totally forgot who my character was. Uh, let's just throw overhaul in there. I wouldn't really worry about fusing just yet, and then there's raids for later on. And then there's a free gem here. So with this, you cannot go AFK. You have to move. If you're AFK, it will kick you off the server. So you still have to move your keyboard around. This is the play, and there's a special event going on right now. So you give this guy eggs, and it gives you something. I don't know what it is yet. And then there's challenges, which give you additional gems, star fruits. Star fruits are used to level up. There's daily challenges. The daily challenges are usually high level, like 100. Enemies will have like 30,000 health, which is kind of nuts. And then there's daily missions here, tournaments codes there is a bunch of codes on their website i'll link all that to their website in the comment section below now if the people that made this game i think it's gummo demo demo something like that i'll check it after this if you are looking to add anime any anime recommendations full metal alchemist would be really cool so full metal alchemist would be cool Chainsaw Man is already in it. They do have power and Denji. Let's see. 
Fooly Cooly would be cool. I would love Fooly Cooly. That'd be sick. Maybe Witchblade. Be the beginning from Netflix would be cool. Him and his brother. Sirius the Jaeger would be cool. Those are just my recommendations. I know this is not part of the beginner guide, but if they do watch this, shout out to you for making an actual really good power defense with anime characters. I played some other ones. They were just garbage. Anyways, guys, it's been Rilla Karay bringing you videos daily, nightly, and ever so long. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment down below if I missed anything out, if I got anything wrong, because like I said, I'm fairly new. I'm level 19. I'm not actually about to get my fifth slot, which is crazy. So I'm probably going to go farm that a bit. And if you see me in the lobbies at all, hit me up. Say, hey, how's it going? And if you do see me, hit that subscribe button. My name on Roblox is Rillo Blocks Karay because it's cringe and I like it. Anyways, guys, peace.